Now let us talk about configuration of ions in this case student. Now we know that there are two different type of ions in the science. One is cations and they have basically positive charge. So the question is that how the cations are formed? Student cations are formed because loss of electron. And if we talk about anion, it is lost by gain of electron. I repeat, anion has negative charge, cation has positive charge. And these are the two different type of ions. Cations are formed by loss of electron. Generally, metal forms cation and anions are formed by gain of electron that is reduction that is negative charge and generally non-metal if you will take so there is more tendency to form what negative ions whether it is loss or gain of electron it always take place from the valence shell student for example when you talk about configuration of O2 minus which is referred as what oxide O2 minus is what oxide so first you should understand the neutral atom configuration oxygen is the neutral atom for oxide and its atomic number is what 8 so the configuration is 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 but if it is O2 minus can I say 2 minus its anion so oxygen should gain electron that's why I'm saying oxygen is gaining how many electrons two electrons how we came to know about two electrons it is gaining because of two negative charge so two negative charge two electrons those will add up in outermost p orbitals so one as well to add this two electron can one s receive electron answer is no because it is fully filled can two s receive electron answer is no because it is also fully filled please remember loss or gain of electron is related with the valence shell so valence shell if you'll see this shell one is referred as what K shell and this shell is referred as what L shell. So valence shell it is filled, it is not filled, so electron should enter into 2p. So this 2p4 will become what 2p6. And by gaining of two electron, it get configuration of what neon. Neon is an inert gas. Once it will get configuration of neon, means it becomes what more stable. Let us try to write it for Na plus. Now Na plus is what cation. So first we should know the configuration of Na. Na is what? It's 11. So the configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. This is K shell. This is L shell and this one is M shell. Na plus if you will see the electron is removed. There is a positive charge. So from where to remove the electron? From the valence shell again. So valence shell, the outermost orbital is 3s. There is loss of one electron. So it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And again it achieves configuration of nearest noble gas. So again Na plus will become what more stable because of achieving what nearest noble gas configuration. So cation means what loss of electron. Generally, metal forms cation. Anions means what gain of electron. Generally, non-metal forms anion. Now, let us discuss how to decide magnetic moment of any ions. Student, we can decide magnetic moment of ions whether it is cation or anion on the basis of presence of unpaired electrons. If any ion is placed in external magnetic field, then it can show two different type of behaviors. It that ion may get attracted towards external magnetic field or it may get what repelled. If it is getting attracted, then that substance is called as paramagnetic, and if it is getting repelled, that substance is called as diamagnetic. In order to find out the values of magnetic moment, we use this formula. Here if you see this is called as mu, which is referred as magnetic moment. And that is equal to root of n, n plus 2. And this bm is called unit of magnetic moment, that is Bohr magneton. I repeat, this mu is called 
magnetic moment and this is root of n n plus 2 so n is referred as number of unpaired electron and this vm is called bohr magneton which is the unit so n if you will see it is the number of unpaired electrons if you know the number of unpaired electron then we can decide the correct value of magnetic moment if you will see this vm is bohr magneton number of unpaired electron let us decide if we know the value of n then what should be the value of the magnetic moment number of unpaired electron that may be zero in that case if all electrons are paired so if you substitute zero in this formula the answer will be what zero so this substance should get repelled by the magnetic field if the number of unpaired electron is one again you substitute this value of n and you will get this formula if it is 2 substitute this value and you will get this what root 8 if it is 3 substitute this value you will get what root 50 if it is 4 it will be root of 24 and if it is 5 it is root of 35 if the magnetic moment is zero for any chemical species so that is referred as what diamagnetic substance magnetic moment if it is zero that is referred as diamagnetic substance and these substances are repelled by the magnetic field but if you will see species with non-zero value of magnetic moment that is considered as what paramagnetic in this case if you will see the n value is 0 and the mu magnetic moment is 0. So, this substance will get repelled by the magnetic field. So, it is diamagnetic. And these all substances, if you will see, they have non zero value of magnetic moment. So, they are paramagnetic in nature. So, please remember paramagnetic substances will get attracted to the external magnetic field and diamagnetic substances will get repelled from the external magnetic field. Now these are some ion student where if magnetic moment is 0 it is having noble gas electronic configuration for all noble gases all electrons are paired in their orbitals. So all noble gases and all the ions which exhibit noble gas configuration will be what diamagnetic in nature. With this application student let us try to find out this kind of the problem what is the magnetic moment of Fe2 plus Fe3 plus and Ni2 plus. Now the question is that how to calculate magnetic moment of Fe2 plus Fe3 plus Ni2 plus. If you will see this Fe2 plus is having configuration of 3d6 so first you should write the electronic configuration it is 3d6 now d sub shell is consisting of pi orbital if you will fill the electron then you have to just calculate or find out the number of unpaired electrons so number of unpaired electron in this case is what 4 so the value of n will be what 4 let us substitute into this formula root of n n plus 2 value of n is what 4 so root of 4 4 plus 2 it will come root of 24 which is approximately it is 5 bore magneton similarly for fe3 plus if you will see the configuration is 3d5 now all the d orbitals are half filled and here if you will see total 5 unpaired electrons are present then the value of n should be what 5 so if you will substitute into this formula it is root of 5 5 plus 2 so it is root of 35 and approximately it is 6 bore magneton. For Ni2 plus again check the configuration 3D8. 3D8 if you will see there are only 2 unpaired electron then the value of unpaired electron is 2. Let us substitute this value in this formula. What you will get student? 2 root of 2, 2 plus 2. So it should be what 8 and the value is what 2.83. So by using this formula we can calculate approximate value of magnetic moment and also we can decide whether that substance is paramagnetic or diamagnetic in nature. I hope you understood the class.
थैंक यू सो मच